Email reporting allows a user to schedule reports to be sent on a regular basis to either archive data or simplify data gathering and get updates on agents' activity and effectiveness. For example, a manager can schedule a weekly report and check how many unanswered calls they have each week. In this video, we'll show you how to schedule report emails. To create a new report, click on the drop-down in the top right from the navigation bar on any analytics page and select Schedule Report Emails. Once in the scheduler, click New. Give your schedule a name, such as Calls in Progress. Select the schedule type that you wish to run. Depending on the schedule type you picked, you'll have different options to choose when creating a new schedule. In this example, we'll select Call Detail Record as the schedule type. Select your desired report date range, as well as the date and time range. Make sure you have selected the correct time zone, as this will affect the data that is displayed in the report. You may also limit the report to specific branches or departments, assuming those have been configured in the admin console. For Call Detail Records Report, you can select what call direction or status you wish to run the report for. Enter the email address or addresses you wish it to be sent. You can enter multiple email addresses to receive the scheduled report, including external email addresses. Here, you'll have the option to change the subject line of the report email or type a custom message. You can also set the frequency, start date, and an end date of the report. A brief summary will be displayed, which tells you when the report will be generated. Once you're done, click on Schedule, and the report will be sent to all named recipients at the desired frequency. If you wish to edit the report schedule, simply click on the specific report from the list and the schedule editor will appear on the right. To make a report inactive, just click on the inactive icon. To make an inactive report active again, just click on the inactive tab, then click on the active icon. 